everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Tiffany and I make content related around nursing school and my life. So if you guys like what you see, don't forget to subscribe down below. That way you'll get notified when I post. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get right into this video. So today I'm going to bring you guys along with me as I set up my binders for nursing school. So I'm super excited. I've been buying a bunch of supplies and just trying to do as much as I can right now to prep. And so I finally have my classes and so I'm going to go ahead and go through and set up my binders so I actually got this idea from a lady that wrote the book it's called nursing school thrive guide I can link it down below for you guys if you want I found this on audible it was like a two-hour book I listened to it it was super helpful um, and she just gives you a bunch of tips on like clinicals and things like that and then she gave me a really good idea for setting up my binders I at least want to try it for the first semester what she suggested doing is to have only three binders that you're using throughout the semester so you have what she calls your daily binder and then you have your clinical binder and then you also have what she calls your mega binder so your two smaller binders I think I got one and a half inch you could get a two inch if you wanted but I think one and a half is just like the perfect size I don't want it like too big this one's one and a half inches this one's two and in two inches so what I'll probably do is make the one and a half inch for my clinical because I probably won't have as much paperwork as I would for my uh, daily binder. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into setting up my first folder. And I did make binder covers and then I made like little uh, printouts to put in the side here too. That way, um, if it's like sitting up like this on a shelf, I know which one it is. So let me grab those papers. So what I did, was I just went online and I created my own little binder cover. I put all of my classes down here at the bottom. So the reason I put the classes here on the bottom was because it will help me when it comes time to study for the NCLEX if I am like, if I feel weak in a certain area and I need to go back and reference like my notes or something like that, then it'll be super easy to find. I'll just find uh, the binder that has the class that I need on it. So yeah, this is what it looks like so far super cute semester one all my classes and then next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna have this i'm gonna go cut this evenly because i have a cutter like that so i'll be right back yay all right it looks super cute all right so it says semester one i feel like that writing is kind of hard to read but i can read it so that's all that matters so it says semester one and then my front here says semester one as well sorry i have a light on myself so there we go, and then all my classes, so yeah. All right, so next I'm gonna move on to the second binder, which is gonna be the mega binder. And for this one, I'm gonna set it up just like I set up the other one. Okay, so I forgot that for my daily binder, I didn't wanna have all the classes listed at the bottom here. That is for my mega binder. So I'm gonna put just this one here that just says semester one in my daily binder. And then the other one's gonna go in the mega binder. So I'll just sit that down there. So the mega binder, this is the one that at the end of the semester, everything that was once in my daily binder will be in this binder. And then when it comes time to study for the NCLEX, um, or if I ever just need to reference anything from any class, then I'll have it and it'll all be nice and organized. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to do the semester one on the side. I have to grab that out of the printer. I'll be back. Oh, by the way, this binder, I believe, is four, it's either four or four and a half inches. So I would say either get anywhere from four to five. I don't like the way I just folded that. I'm going to have to reprint it. Clearly, I did not center the text when I was creating this. All right, let's try this round two. Right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. Put it in the side here. I cannot get this thing in here. All right, semester one, all done. So now that I have both of these two folders done, I'm gonna put in the dividers. So I bought these fabulous dividers from Target. Um, and I bought a lot of them because one, they're very high quality, and two, I want to have the same 
uh, file folders throughout the semester if I can. And I bought these at Target and I looked to see if they had them on Amazon because I was just going to order more so I didn't have to go to the store. And they didn't have them on Amazon so I figured I should just go ahead and buy enough for my whole nursing program. So I just bought eight sets of eight. One of these is going to last me a whole semester for how I'm going to set up my binders. I'm sure if you guys like these dividers, uh, they probably still have them at Target, so you can always go check it out. I will walk you guys through how I'm going to do this really quick. Um, so I'm going to take my file folders and put them in here. So what I'm going to go through and do now is just make um, each divider, so each tab here is going to be a different class. So I'm going to go through and do that with the little stickers they gave me. So I'm just going to go based off of my little class list on the binder that I have at the bottom here and just go through and make a tab for all of them. Since there are eight tabs and I'm only in five classes, I'm going to make separate tabs for lab um, for this specific semester. <laughs> I made my stickers for all of my classes and then I'm just gonna go through and stick them on the tabs here. So I'm gonna try to get them as even as I can. Well, all right, so my semester one weekly or daily, whatever you wanna call it, binder is set up. So that's how I set it up. And then my mega binder for the semester is gonna get set up the exact same way. So I'm just gonna take another eight tab divider, open it up, and then do the exact same thing. I literally cannot get over how stupid cute these are. Like, look at all that. Good job. Taking my money, that's for sure. All right. So open her up. These binders I got from my boyfriend because he had a bunch of extra ones laying around. So I was like, do you mind if I, you know, use some of those. Yep, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I just got to find the stickers. Oh, you know what? They're still in the bag. Oh, and so what I'm going to do with this one every semester. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this one every semester, the daily binder that I just made the tabs for, I'm going to rip off the stickers um, and then just use new ones. That way I'm at least um, saving some of my dividers. That's right, we're doing the same thing. <laughs> writing out all my classes and for my dividers and then putting them in. All right, so I set it up the exact same way and now I'm just gonna go through, do the exact same thing. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting to set up my binders. I don't know why, it's just such a fun thing to do. I think it's just because I like to personalize it and make it cute and put my own style on it because it tends to help me remain more organized if I like the way my stuff looks, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate because let's face it, a lot of us nursing students probably are pretty specific in the way we like to do things. All right, so this folder, this is my mega binder again for the whole semester, first semester, and looks just like the other one. I was there the whole time, wasn't it? Looks just like the other one, set it up the exact same way. So what I do is, let's say my nursing 208 class, I have all my papers in this binder, just finished my exam, take them out of this binder, and then throw them into the Nursing 208 Mega Binder. And I'm probably going to create tabs too within all of my classes for the subject. So if I wanna go back to it, it'll be easier to find it. I hope that's not gonna to be too many tabs. Honestly, I think it should be okay. I'll try it for the first semester and then if I think it's too much or I don't like it, then I don't have to do it again. All right, so now that my Mega Binder 
and my daily binder are done. I'm gonna go and do my clinical binder now. All right, so on the side here then it says clinical, super cute. And then let me grab my uh, cover for my clinical, which is this one here. So I just printed this one out to show you guys what it's gonna look like, but when I get my clinical assignment, right down there where it says assignment, I'm going to just put like uh, what rotation I have and what hospital I'm at and stuff. So it looks just like that, super cute. So these are my three semester, or three folders for the semester. So clinical, semester one for my daily binder, and then semester one for my mega binder. All right, guys, I do want to explain this a little bit better just in case it was confusing at all. So this here is my daily binder. This is my mega binder. And then I have my clinical binder here. So if I like the way this goes for semester, I'm going to keep doing this. So meaning every single semester, I will have three binders. So this daily binder here is going to be anything that I'm currently studying that I haven't been tested on. So that could be PowerPoints, lecture notes, handouts, really anything that I'm going over that I have yet to be tested on. So then as soon as I finish a test for any one of these classes, then I will take everything out within that divider and then bring it over to my mega binder and then put it in here. And then same thing when I have another exam, then it moves over to the mega binder. So I do think I'll really like how this works out. All right, and then I'll move into my clinical binder. So right now I only have four tabs and those are care plans, clinical paperwork, projects, and miscellaneous. I know they're a little bit difficult to read, they're overlapping, but those are the four that I have set up right now. As the semester goes on, if I have any more that I wanna fill in, I've got plenty of room there. So my plan with the clinical binder is to keep everything in here the entire semester until it comes to the very end. And then I am actually gonna move all of my clinical paperwork once I'm done with the first semester over to my mega binder here. And I'm gonna take out this um, miscellaneous tab and then all my clinical paperwork will be in my mega binder at the end of the semester. That way it still stays together. And I also don't have to get a new binder. I can literally just use this same binder for the five semesters as long as it holds up. But yeah, I just hope this clarifies some things for you guys. And if you do have any questions at all about this, if anything doesn't make sense, comment down below and I'll definitely make it more clear for you guys. I do actually have a fourth and final binder that I wanna show you guys that I'm making. So I got this idea from, I believe it's called Strategies for Test Success, uh, the Saunders book. And it recommended making a giant binder um, dedicated to the NCLEX and calling it my NCLEX study guide. And so I created a super cute um, binder cover for this one. And I think this is like my favorite one. Okay, And then I also printed out one to put on the side as well. And this is such a big binder that I'm hoping this big lettering fits. All right, so my NCLEX study guide with the cute front cover. All right, so with my my NCLEX study guide binder here, um, I did get this idea, like I said, from the Strategies for Test Success book by Saunders. So it pretty much just says to use this as a guide throughout your whole semester. So any exams that you get back, any kind of practice test that you take, even if you're not graded on it, print it out. If you can print out the report, identify your strengths and your weaknesses and all those areas. And then that way, when it comes time to study for the NCLEX, you can kind of look over everything so you can see, you know, what areas do I need to work on a lot more than other areas. And then when it comes time to study for the NCLEX, you want to focus on those areas first and then you wanna work into studying your strong points last. I hope this makes sense for you guys. I will keep you guys updated if I do decide to do anything different with it. Super excited with how all this stuff turned out. Just like, look how cute. Thank you guys so much for watching me set up my binders for my first semester of nursing school. I will see you soon.